This is a video for how to go about creating the second item in your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360. So you'll notice that within this item we have a basic rectangular prism with kind of this angular cut out of it. So we're going to go back to Fusion 360 and start a part, but we're going to start by creating a rectangular prism. And when I go back to Fusion 360, I still have my, my number one um, part from our 20 ISOs project we did in a previous video. So in this case we're just going to come up here to the file button and we're going to go down to new design and automatically we'll get ourselves a brand new workspace. You know so that we still have our first part saved up here at the top and we're just going to go right into our sketch button and we will go right to our plane and in this case we will create for ourselves a two-point rectangle and we're going to click on the origin and we're just going to drag out and let's go back to our um, second item. Now the width in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the height is 4. So we're going to go back to Fusion 360 and I'm going to hit 8, and I'm going to hit Tab, and I'm going to hit 4, and I'm going to hit Enter. And you're going to notice we have ourselves a large rectangle. Now instead of clicking the word front to try to get a zoom, you can come down to this magnifying glass and click on the magnifying glass and it'll fit it to your screen. You also notice they have this sketch palette option up here. I'm going to go back and try to just kind of get that out of the way. I can leave it here. I can click finish sketch through this if I want to, but I'm going to set this to the side. Let's go to finish sketch and I want to go to my house button in the top right so we can get ourselves that isometric view and I want to come up here and find out what our depth is and our depth is one two three four five six so I'm going to click on my extrude button and I'm going to drag opposite in this way and I'm going to put in negative six what I try to do when I talk about creating a negative is I try to stay with one plane so we started on this plane and we're going backwards this way so I just try to stay negative our next item of business is to create this angled shape up here on the top and we're going to try to start at corners and draw lines and then play connect the dots as we go. So I'm going to click on my create sketch in the top left and I'm going to click on the top of the object and I'm going to go to my line command and I'm going to click in the top right hand corner. I want to drag to the left. In this case it's a distance of three. Notice that here we go one, two, three to line this up and it's going to be the same distance vertically and we're going to go straight down. So we're going to go back to Fusion 360 and I'm going to say 3 in this case and I'm going to grab my line command again and I'm going to go down 3 so I'm going to hit 3 again and we now have these two separate lines which are part of this whole shape now the other hard part here is trying to find how we're going to come in two here and one from the side and, you know there's different ways to go about doing something like this um, you can draw separate lines if you wish and then delete a line and I think maybe that's a way we can kind of do some geometric construction in this case so I'm going to grab a hold of my line command and I'm going to start down here at the bottom and I'm going to come in a distance of two and our other line down here at the bottom is actually going to be a distance of five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw myself another line that's going to be a distance of five. Go this way, hit five on my keyboard, and hit enter. Now you're going to notice that we have these points set up that we need to draw. I'm going to grab my line command. And I'm going to go point to point, and I'm going to go point point. Now this was kind of a roundabout way of doing something. I'm going to right click and say OK. I don't really need this line down here anymore because it was just a construction line to help me get to a certain point. So I'm just going to right click on that line. I'm just going to go to delete. And we now have this shape that we need. So let's go to finish sketch. And you're going to notice we have this finished sketch. We are going to go to extrude and we're going to click on that sketch. Now we want to drag downward because we want to cut. Now in this case we have to find the depth of the cut which is going to be two, one, two. So in Fusion we will come over and we will put in negative two and we'll say OK. And you'll notice that now you have your finished number two in your 20 ISOs project. That's just through two sketches and just they're going in and actually just creating one whole body and creating two sketches and cutting out of that object. So this has been a video on how to create the second part from your 20 ISOs project.